Amac on the mix. Ugh. Yo, what up, guys? It's your girl Amac back with another quick tip, and today I'm gonna give you a Melodyne hack. Now, I'm not gonna go over like what all the tools in Melodyne are. I'm just gonna give you this one thing that really helped me when I was first starting out learning how to tune vocals and how to manipulate the audio inside of the plugin. Let's just jump right into it. So we open Melodyne, I already have my audio transferred in. When you open it, what are we looking at, first of all, right? The blobs are notes, the key is E flat minor, you can see the white lines are in the key, the gray lines are not in the key. Melodyne is just such a great visual tool. Now, that being said, you know, we've got to be listening to our audio because sometimes it's not gonna make sense what it looks like on the screen, but it's still gonna sound right and that is the only thing that matters. Now, we're looking at the blobs again. These are the notes, right? But how do you tell the actual pitch is by the squiggly lines inside of the blobs. And Melodyne does like a great job of separating notes, but it's not perfect. And how can you tell when something that is being displayed as one note is actually more than one? And it's by reading the squiggly line. So I'm going to go up here. I'm grab, going to grab my cut tool. And as you can see where the squiggly line jumps, like I said, this is the pitch. So it's on this note. But why is the blob down here? We don't know. It's just what Melodyne decided to do. But I'm going to cut it. And you can see that the blob has now jumped to where it's actually supposed to be. And as we go through, here's another great example. Now, that didn't drop as far as I think it should. I'm going to go over here. So sometimes you have to find the right place to cut it. And you see how it dropped into the note it's supposed to be. Another great example is right here. And again, dropped into the note it's supposed to be. And then from there, you know, we can double click our pitch tool and that will put it, you know, in center if that's what you want to do. But the point of this video was to just show you the hack of being able to read the squiggly lines and see where something that's being presented as one note might actually be two or more. Boom. There's another one. So I hope you guys have a great time learning Melodyne and using it. It's an amazing tool and I really hope that this hack helps you get better at it. And that's all I got for y'all today. Peace.